The Priority 600 line ships with Tektro HDM Hector Delta Mike 285 hydraulic disc brakes. You've probably never heard of them. I hadn't either. So when they shipped, I bought some grip tape adhesive and put that over the levers. Make sure you always pull with a couple fingers or one finger. You don't have to like over grip those things, but I like the grip tape edition. And take a look at the pistons here. They're single piston on either side. So that's a two piston brake, which I kind of like better than a four piston brake. Four pistons, in theory, you get more stopping power, but there's more things to brake. Uh, no pun intended. This is the cheapest hydraulic disc setup I've seen. It's definitely a minimally viable product. And they work pretty good, honestly. I've bombed some big hills. Look at my other videos. Uh, we can see the rear brake line feeds through the top tube into the rear cylinder where we can see, again, single piston on either side and then the Tech Tro rotor as well. So that's, that's the component we're looking at. In terms of cost comparison, you know, SRAM's upper end product line, just the hydraulic brake and four piston brake caliper, you're looking at a few hundred dollars on Amazon or your aftermarket purchase. So these are about, let's say 30 to 40% of the cost of a premium brake. And I'm actually really happy with them. In terms of the where I stand on the two piston versus four piston brake discussion, I like two piston better because there's less pistons to get stuck and brake, no pun intended. Honestly, I thought this bike would ship with disc brakes that had cable actuators and they're hydraulic, so that's pretty cool. The brakes themselves say that the lines are filled with mineral oil, so that's what I expect to use if I ever have to bleed them. But they come with good tension and pressure for the brakes, so I feel great about them right out of the box. And hopefully I don't have to do any maintenance aside from brake pad replacement for a long time. I'll do an update video if there are any problems in the future and no news is good news when it comes to my reviews. Typically, I'm only doing update videos on things that break or I discover are problems down the line. So that's my overview on the Priority 600 brake system. See you around.